Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this video, we are going to see how we can use AI vision vectorization and vectorize the images. Then we are going to see how we can search images using Azure AI service. Before we move to demo, a humble request to all of you that if you like this content on Azure on this channel, please share subscribe and also refer to your friends and colleague so that we can reach to more people so for this demo we are into azure portal where we have our resources created inside resource group and we have this ai search which is basic one and also we have our blob storage accounts and we have downloaded few images so that we can upload and enable vectorization of this image and do a search based on this one. So we will see how the vectorization works on images. So let's go and upload this images. Now I'm going to browse and upload all these documents. I'm going to upload these documents. Now let's go back to our AI search. And we are going to go once again import in vectorized data we are going to select azure blob and then we have up uploaded into image section and let's go to next and now it is going to ask if you wanted to use vectorization of your text give me a, a details for embedding models and we do have embedding models right and we can go and select that embedding models, which is uh, text embedding ADA002. Then we are going to next. Now we are going to use vectorization of image, right? So we are going to select that. And we are going to use AI vision vectorization. And right now we do not have any account created for that one, which needs a multi-model account. And then we are going to create a new AI service for that. So this is going to be a new AI service. We will create inside this and we are going to create in Australia East. And we are going to use the pricing tier. we are going to create our resource has been deployed so we can go in resource and we can also see how it looks like mm -hmm. this multi-model service provides that if you wanted to extract meaning from any text and other things speech models vision model and document intelligence we will go one by one for all this later but for now right i'm going to refresh this and i'm going to select that if we wanted to do, we can in, uh, extract our image from uh, text from images. So let's do that one. We are going to use same whatever we attached, that same model for the detecting that. And if we see the preview of our indexes, how index will be created, an image parent ID and image vector will be there in, with text vector. So let's go ahead and see. If you have not seen our previous video where we did vectorization of text, you can see. And uh, we are going to do only once. We can schedule multiple times, but let's go only once for demo. And let me put the name for image vector, right? And it can be only uh, the lower case. Let's go and create. Right now it says that it created successfully. Let's go and start searching, but it do takes some time. If you see good document count is zero, 
So let's go back and let's go and see our indexes. So now one more index will be coming, which is just now we given the image vector name. Right now document count is zero, size another thing is zero. It will take a couple of minutes to pop up. And if you see indexer, it ran this indexer where 10 document it pulled. And also data source will be that from our image vector data source where container is images. Also let's go and see the skill set. In a skill set, we have this image vector skill set where number of skill is five. And if you wanted to see that in more details, let's go and see on more details that what are the different skill set it added. So it added one OCR skill set where it is going to pull the data, uh, whatever text is given on that uh, image, and it is going to use that one. Then we have merge skills and then split it more document count in, in one document if have too many rows or data then it is going to split and also it is going to use embedding models and other things for that one. So that is how that uh, all the skills are connected by this one. So let's go back and see that if our indexes has been populated or not. So let me refresh this one right now it's still 0 KB. So let's see if how much time it is going to take. So after some time, we can see there is 10 to 20 document count and there are some size over there into our index. So now we can go for that index to search. And if you go and we have seen that what options, query option and other things previously when we were doing that search for text and other things. Now we can see that there is image view is also there. So we can go and change that one so that we can drag and drop any image and try to search based on that image. So let's go and let's see tacos in burritos and let's try to use this one for searching purpose, right? So now if you see that it is went and figured out based on whatever image we uploaded. So it is going to match based on whatever image is going to do and it is going to return that one. So that this UI is not very friendly. If we go and see that our image parent titles and other things, we can see vector and there is no text on that one. So let's more details and it is coming from Matt Nelson this JPG right so we uploaded that JPG and we can see that this which one right so let's see that and uh, this is that one so this is that um, one uh, where um, we uploaded this is trying to find with that one and the second one it bring out this uh, search score which Nick fuel so let's see that this is the second one it is bringing right so that's what it is doing let me try to upload another uh, one and then we can see that what it brings right so let's try to do this one now we can see that there is different and this is that it went ahead and uh, figured out which image we uploaded for search and json did so this is that image we uploaded search so it is able to match with this 99 percentile so that's good, right? It is able to detect that image, what image is there in the vector. And in the second one, it is that able to feel, figure out with this one. The similar image based on details on vectorization, it seems that it is nearby on that one and it is similar image. So that is similarity engine is being clicked on. So right now, if we go and see into our chat playground inside Azure Open AI, it does not provide that upload of image from this UI. So we can refresh this one and we can disconnect and see if any other way it provides to upload any image for searching purpose. So it does provide only that uh, text and, uh, um, and audio. It does not provide any other options for the searching purpose. But when you are going to build your own UI, you can use these features and build that way. So that is what I wanted to show into this demo right now. I hope you, you have liked this demo. If you do, please like, share and comment. Thank you.